Welcome back to Jumpstart for Jesus. We serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. Bible tells us in Hebrews 12 verse 29, Our God is a consuming fire. Hallelujah. The fire is the very emblem of the kingdom of God. If we read throughout the scriptures, we see the throne of God is made of fire. The angels that are surrounding him are created of fire. When, the, when Elisha prayed for his servant to open his eyes, the servant of Elijah saw on the mountains the chariots of fire. The angels sitting on it were of fire. Hallelujah. Praise God. We see that when Elijah was taken up to heaven, he was taken up in the chariots of fire. Hallelujah. Praise God. So today, my friend, we will learn, we will see what this fire represents in our life and how the fire works in our daily life. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Although our God is known by many names like God our provider, God our healer, God our giver, the Prince of Peace, yet there is something powerful about God that is represented by fire. Hallelujah. Praise God. So friends, today we will focus on the fire of the Holy Spirit. We will read from Matthew chapter 3 verse 10 to verse 12. Hallelujah. Praise God. We read in these three scriptures a powerful revelation of the fire of God. What God wants us to have in our daily life. Hallelujah. Praise God. As we look at the characteristics of the fire, the fire does three things. First, the fire brings judgment. Second, the fire sanctifies. And the third, the fire empowers us. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we'll see these three characteristics of the fire today as we go through the scriptures. Hallelujah. Praise God. Matthew 3 verse 10 tells us, And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit, is cut down and thrown into the fire. Hallelujah. Praise God. As we read this scripture, this scripture talks about the judgment of God. It talks about the axe that is laid at the root of the trees. That any tree which does not bear fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. It means separation. Separation from the life of God. Separation from the kingdom of God. Separation from very God himself. Hallelujah. So this scripture talks about judgment. And if we read through the scriptures, we read in Daniel chapter 3. We read in Daniel chapter 3 when the friends of Daniel were taken to put in the furnace of fire. They, were, they refused to worship the image that was made by the king. And the king said anyone who refused to bow down before the image shall be thrown into the furnace of fire. And Bible tells us on that day the furnace was heated seven times means it is a complete heating that cannot be heated more than that it was so much hot there was fire burning in the furnace which was seven times hotter than every other time and when this man of uh, the king the soldiers of the king tied the friends of daniel that is Shadrach, Meshach and Abidnego. They tied them and they went to throw them into the furnace. And as we read in the Bible, Bible tells us that those who took them to throw into the furnace were mighty men of valor. But when the fire came upon them, they were burned. They were died. They were killed by the fire. Yet when Sherak, Meshach and Abidnego were thrown into the fire. 
it did not burn them it did not consume them bible tells us that the chains or the bands that were tied to their hands were burned it means that the fire does not burn the children of god the fire does not burn the people of god the fire is for the judgment over the people who do not worship the living god hallelujah the fire destroyed the man who threw them into the fire fire destroyed the chains and the bands that were tied to their hands yet the fire did not burn them fire did not touch them hallelujah praise god so this tells us how the fire comes upon those who are not of the kingdom of god hallelujah today i pray that the fire of the holy spirit will burn every chain holding you back every chain of sickness every chain of darkness and every chain of problem shall be burned by the power and the fire of the holy spirit in your life for fire is a judgment on sickness fire is a judgment on problems fire is the judgment of the on the enemy and on all the powers of darkness hallelujah in revelation 20 verse 15 it tells us and anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire hallelujah praise god there is a day set for judgment and on that day god will sit on the throne and all the living and the dead will be standing before him hallelujah and he will judge them according to the works written in the books and he says that anyone whose name is not written in the book of life will be thrown into the lake of fire hallelujah praise god what does this mean means anyone whose name is not there in the book of life will be thrown into the fire to know more about the book of life please watch my video the book of life it has all the things needed that will help you to understand whose names are written in the book of life how to have your name written in the book of life so that you will not be thrown into the lake of fire hallelujah praise the second characteristic that i want to speak about fire is it sanctifies we read in matthew 3 verse 12 his winnowing fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire again the bible is talking about fire but here there is a difference between the first scripture and this scripture here bible is still talking about wheat and the chaff chaff is something that remains attached to the wheat and it is separated by winnowing and bible tells us that god or jesus is already having the fan winnowing fan in his hand these are the end times these are the days when jesus is winnowing he is setting apart the wheat and the chaff he wants to sanctify you he wants to cleanse you he may, he wants to make his church without wrinkle without blemish and holy so that he can take the church up into the heavens when he comes at rapture hallelujah praise god so friend fire also sanctifies us bible tells us in 1 peter 1 2 elect according to the foreknowledge of god the father in sanctification of the spirit for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of jesus christ grace to you and peace be multiplied hallelujah bible tells us sanctification is a process the moment you receive jesus as your lord and savior the moment you accept jesus as your only lord and master the process of sanctification starts you enter into the kingdom of god and then you start learning the cultures the traditions of the kingdom of god according to the word of god and this 
This is done by the power and the fire of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit sanctifies us and makes us clean. He helps us to reject what is evil and to accept what is good. The Holy Spirit, the fire of the Holy Spirit strengthens us to walk in the light of Jesus Christ. To walk in the paths of righteousness. Hallelujah. Praise God. Psalm 66 verse 10. For you, O God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net and laid afflictions on our backs. You have caused men to ride over our head. We went through fire and through water. But you brought us out to reach fulfillment. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, my dear friend, sanctification is a process that brings blessing. Hallelujah. Bible tells us we are sanctified, we are refined, and we are cleansed like silver by the fire of the Holy Spirit. And as you go through this process of sanctification, there are times when we are in pain. There are times where we have to let go many things of this world which we loved very much which we desired very much these things we have to let go there are times when we are sick because of a reason because of a sanctification process that goes in our life god wants us to be sanctified to be cleansed to be made pure and holy to live in his kingdom hallelujah because the kingdom of god is holiness and righteousness and we can live in his kingdom only with holiness and righteousness hallelujah praise god so this is the fire of the holy spirit that cleanses us that sanctifies us and makes us holy and pure hallelujah and bible tells us in psalm 66 verse 12 but you brought us out to reach fulfillment which means when you go through this process and you come out victorious you are brought into rich fulfillment which means after the process of sanctification there is abundance blessings after the process of sanctification you enter into the blessings of god into the favor of god into the light of god hallelujah I pray that as if anyone going through the process of sanctification, through the pain and suffering, let it bring you to rich fulfillment. That as you come out of this sanctification process, you will be like fire to serve God in a mighty way. Every blessing of the Bible shall be yours when you come out victorious through this sanctification process hallelujah at times these are tough times when we go through sanctification process but when we come out of it we are brought into rich fulfillment hallelujah so now we come to the third part or the third characteristic of the fire fire burns to empower us bible tells us in matthew 3 verse 11 I, John the Baptist said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Praise God. So, my dear friend, John the Baptist is speaking in this scripture about Jesus baptizing with the Holy Spirit and the fire which means there is a Holy Spirit and there is a fire of the Holy Spirit every person who is born again every person who has accepted Jesus as his Lord and Master has entered into the kingdom of God and he receives the Holy Spirit Jesus said I am going to the Father and I will pray to the Father and send you a helper the Holy Spirit who will abide with you forever hallelujah praise God so friend 
when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Master, you receive the Holy Spirit. But Bible tells us that receiving just the Holy Spirit, some Christians, some believers are still cold. They are still living in the same worldly life, even having the Holy Spirit in them. So friends, it is not just the Holy Spirit that God wants to give you. It is the fire of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Then we read in Acts chapter 2 verse 3. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire and set upon each of them. Hallelujah. So we see the promise that Jesus has promised to send upon the disciples came after 10 days of Jesus going to heaven on the day of Pentecost and it says it did not just come as a Holy Spirit but it came as tongues of fire it was the baptism of fire the fire of the Holy Spirit baptizes you and empowers you to walk in the power and might of the kingdom hallelujah praise god we see when the fire when the fire of the holy spirit came upon the disciples they became like fire after jesus died until the day of pentecost the disciples were hiding but the moment the fire of the Holy Spirit came upon them, they went out and started shouting, Hallelujah, praise God. When the fire of the Holy Spirit comes upon you, it empowers you to work in the kingdom of God. It empowers you to work wonders, miracles, signs. It empowers you to speak boldly in the name of Jesus. It empowers you to be the witnesses of Jesus, Hallelujah. When the fire of the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples, they were like fire. Hallelujah. Bible tells us that unusual miracles, signs were made through the disciples. It was this fire of the Holy Spirit that empowered them to work signs, wonders and miracles. Hallelujah. It was the God dwelling in them as of fire. Hallelujah. Bible tells us in Hebrew 1 verse 7 that God has made his angels spirits and his ministers the flames of fire. Hallelujah. Everyone ministering the gospel of the kingdom, everyone ministering the gospel of Jesus Christ is the minister of fire. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a secret. In the kingdom of God, every Christian is known by the fire in him. Hallelujah. There is a fire that burns in every child of God. There is a fire that burns in every Christian. And the spirit world or the spirit realm cannot see you by your name or by your face but it can see you by the fire that is burning in you. If the magnitude of the fire burning in you is greater, then the light that is produced is greater, which means the light can go far and wide and the darkness cannot come near you. If the light or the fire in a Christian is small, then the light that is made by that fire is very small and so the power of darkness can come close to you if you don't increase this fire in you it will slowly slowly diminish bible tells us do not quench the holy spirit which means there is a time where a christian or a child of god can be without fire there can be a time where the fire in the person, in the Christian, in the born again or the child of God can die down. And that is the time where the fire in a person dies down, the enemy attacks, 
the sickness is come the disease is come the darkness tries to come over the person hallelujah so friend as a child of god as a born again believer let that fire in you grow more and more brighter and brighter that it will touch the heavens and the spirit realm will know that there is a god who is a consuming fire that the fire that is burning in you will consume every power of darkness in you around you and in those around you hallelujah let your fire burn mightier with greater magnitude hallelujah praise god so friend the fire of the holy spirit empowers you to walk in the power of god to walk in the light of god hallelujah they read in jeremiah 5:14 therefore thus says the lord god of hosts because you speak this word behold I will make my words in your mouth fire and this people wood and it shall devour them hallelujah hallelujah what a powerful word from the lord jesus it says that because you are speaking the word of god the word of god will become fire in your mouth and it will devour the people who are against you it will burn the enemies who are against you it will burn the powers of darkness which are against you it will burn the sickness that is in you hallelujah the troubles that rise against you shall be burned by the word of god spoken through your mouth for the word of god spoken through your mouth will become fire in your mouth and it will burn every powers of darkness it will burn every sickness it will burn everything that tries to rise up against you against the knowledge of god hallelujah so friend today let this fire of the holy spirit be in you let it grow mightier and mightier brighter and brighter with greater magnitude that every enemy around you will be burned that every sickness in you will be burned and that you will be empowered to work mighty miracles signs and wonders for bible tells the disciples where the man who turned the world upside down let this be in your life that you will be the person walking in the fire of the holy spirit but friend before getting into this power to be empowered let us sanctify ourselves let us be cleansed by the fire of the holy spirit let us be cleansed by the word of god and then enter into the power of god to work signs wonders and miracles to work in the kingdom of god with power and might hallelujah praise god so friend let us pray that this fire will burn in us mightier brighter and brighter hallelujah father we thank you for you sent jesus to baptize me with holy spirit and fire father i call upon the fire of the holy spirit to come upon me to burn in me and to burn through me to burn every darkness in me and to burn every darkness around me oh father i thank you i praise you if anyone right now has not received jesus as lord and savior let this prayer be your prayer as we pray pray with me lord jesus forgive me i am a sinner lord jesus i come into your light sanctify me cleanse me i believe that your death on the cross has paid for my sins i am forgiven and i am a new creation in christ jesus lord jesus i accept you as my lord and master to follow you according to your will and your word i thank you father 
in the mighty name in the glorious name of Jesus Christ we pray amen hallelujah 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 thank you for watching this video uh, do subscribe to my channel click on the bell for notifications and do share the link with your friends and family god bless you have a blessed time Everybody jump.